Lady, if we're going to have good productive church, I'm talking real deal, holy feel, knock down, drag out, Mike Tyson, knock the teeth out the devil's mouth, church. It's not going to be because we get a good loop on the organ and we begin to hear cymbals clash and we sweat our dudes out and sweat our clothes off. God said, if we're going to have real church, they're going to get up, get up, get up. The rapper and the preacher all combined in one. I know it's been a long time since Christ blasted his gun. He had to take me apart, deal with some inner issues, add some oil to my heart. You know, anoint my inward parts, skin this tree from its bark, disconnect leeches from the start. Suck me dry when I was high till I said bye. Now you wish I would die. I can see it in your eyes with your jealous goodbyes, but I'll never let you see me sweating. Devil, you ain't gonna see me cry. I thank God for your lies and your hidden in with size. How y'all cats lost spies to come up in my church and act high. I wish you would die, say and die. Using people under steeples, I'm lethal. I came back just to beat you and teach you I'm saved. I told my, I'm going to try that one more time, Tina. The problem is, and the reason that we've been losing is, is that we've been gathering all the little battles together and been trying to fight all of them at one time and not realizing, you ready for this, that at the end of each battle, there comes a reward and you're trying to fight other battles and the reward at the end of the battle is actually the weapon to defeat the next level. And you've been fighting a lot of levels, but you've not had the reward from previous battles to be able to, y'all, to be able to defeat the next level. So God said, if you fight one battle at a time, my son, don't worry about what tomorrow holds because if you defeat today, tomorrow is already trembling. I ain't got nobody in here. Don't worry about how I'm going to get over tomorrow's mess because I need you to believe me for today's chaos. I ain't got a church up in here that will stop calculating and adding up what your money cannot afford because it will not afford it. You need to stop adding up your electric bills, your electric, then putting your gas here, then putting your house here, then putting your gas here, then putting food here, only to come up with negative. And you cannot get anywhere because you keep adding up what you see no way out of. So when you see the common denominator underneath the line and what you've added up, all you see is defeat. But tell somebody, if you take it one battle at a time, all you do is win. Because one battle at a time means that he supplies my every need according to his riches preach now and his glories. You've been messing up because you've been adding up your monthly mess, your monthly bills. You've been adding up your stress, your headaches, and your family. You've been adding up body aches. You've been adding up bad doctor's reports. You've been adding up cutting up families, messed up husbands, messed up mamas, messed up families. You put it all together and all you smell is defeat. But I need you to say, God, which battle do I need to pursue right now? Which one is it that I need to conquer because at the end of every level, tell somebody at the end of every level he's got to release the weapon. See, y'all were messing up. You were looking for God to release to you riches, but God said at the end of every battle, I release another weapon, Lord have mercy, for you to conquer the next battle. Preach it here, Holy Ghost. I ain't got nobody in here that will realize that houses, cars, and money is good, but this weapon that I got, I keep trying to fight this thing that is in front of me, and it is not working, and I am tired, good God, of swinging this weapon and not hitting tell somebody a new weapon is about to hit your hands right now and that weapon only is based upon your faith in your going through tell somebody I believe, I believe where God is taking me he, 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 he said son speak tonight uh, over what you want out of the house and what you want into the house and, and I said well God I said I, I'm at a place now where I'm tired of being the consumer catch you right there. I said, I'm tired of being the consumer. I'm ready to be the wholesaler or the retailer. I ain't catch Hey, maybe somebody I try to get that right there. Thank you. There you go. There you go. You caught it. You caught it. You caught it. I'm going to try that again. I am tired of being the one who needs. I'm ready to be the one that provides. Somebody just caught it. I said, I don't want to be the consumer anymore, having to surf the internet and find what it is I want. And when I find it, now I got to shop around and see what's the lowest price. God, could you bless me because of my going through and make me the one that they have to come to now? Preach up in here. And now I can be the
the lender instead of the borrower. Oh boy, we got a church now. Everybody's packed in. Look like everybody in the house is sick and tired of walking around with your hand out. I, I, I'm not at a place where I am frustrated, but I'm ready to put something on the line. There is a difference in between being frustrated and fed up. God, frustration will make you do the wrong thing. Fed up will make you do one of two things. Either fight or submit. Look at somebody. Tell them I ain't no quitter. Oh, God. I'm going to try that one more time. I am fed up with having not enough to take care. Of. I am tired. Y'all ain't going to talk to me. Of being right here. Having to look at the same thing. God, I need you to bless me indeed. Enlarge my territory. And watch this. I believe it when I say it this time. I'm not just saying it because my neighbor's saying it. I'm not just saying it because the preacher is saying to say it. But enlarge my territory because I am ready to be your boy. I'm ready to be the retailer and I am ready to be the distributor. I am ready to do what I need to do. Lord, make me a conduit so you can flow for me, so you can give to me, so you can bless me and I can bless somebody else. There are some things that everybody cannot participate in because everybody participating in what God has to do. If you have people around you, and this is what I'm going to constantly say to you, if you're seeking God for anything, fear does not belong around you. You cannot entertain fear. Watch this. If fear is not in you, why are you going to let somebody speak fear at you? Oh, yeah. My I, I'm going to try that again. Why? If you believe you are a conqueror and you believe you are an overcomer, and I've got to give you the definition of conqueror to let you know how now you have even trumped the place of champion. Champion is only uh, be given after the series of playoffs and battles, and you have proved yourself, watch this, for a season that you can win. But a conqueror, Lord have mercy, is someone or something that has defeated, Lord, something that can never defeat it again. No, didn't catch that. I'm going to try that one more time. That's like God saying that these series of events and these series of tests that you've been through, it is time for a whole nother level. You don't even have to worry about that mess anymore because now you conquered it. Slap somebody. If it's not nobody, slap yourself and say, thank God for conquering. Say, thank God for conquering my attitude. Thank God for conquering my stubbornness. Thank God for conquering my slowfulness. Thank God for conquering my doubting. Thank God for conquering my fear. Thank God for conquering, here's the big one, my flesh. Thank God for conquering. I ain't got nobody in here that'll be real. Thank God for conquering my issues. Thank God for dealing with me because, listen, without conquering them, I am only carrying something that I have not defeated into another level of battle and the only way anything can follow me into another battle is that I bring it this season. Lord, that's because I have drawn the lines down and nothing can come into my life because I base it on my last season and my last season predicts my new season because I look at my last season and it determines who belongs in my life this season. So if you look like my last season, if you talk like my last season, if you laugh like my last season, if you act like my last season, tell somebody, hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Sam, and don't, don't you come back up. No Preach ain't incomplete. I need somebody in here that's sick of being incomplete. Nice looking car, but no gas, incomplete. Nice looking house, but no furniture, incomplete. Nice looking woman, but no man, incomplete. Nice looking man, but no woman, incomplete. Preach now. Tell somebody, it is time for me to be complete. God never start anything and not finish it. He is the author and the finisher of our, of our, of our, of our, of our. God can't complete anything if you don't believe him. God saying, I'll start you, but I'll give you the faith to write the middle. But I can't complete nothing if your faith without works is dead. Tell somebody, I'm going back home and complete it. I'm going to complete my vision. I'm going to complete my business.
hear him, but I said it ends with him commanding things. Sit down, let me explain to you why you've been incomplete. The Bible after it records, he did run well, but who did? Oh, preaching here. The Bible accurately records that when the Nehemites were on the wall, Sanballat comes, and he only comes as a, as and he serves as distraction. I come to let somebody know that you were on your way, working on the completed thing, but something or someone got into your mind, got in between your vision, and that person is only a person of incomplete anointing. God, it is your own fault. You've been praying for discernment, but God said some things come by common sense. If they've got a long history, long resume of not completing anything, baby, I'll come back to get you after I complete this. Oh, What's my problem, Bess. You ready for this? Here is the problem. I'm online today and I'm registering, um, 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 whatever you call it, doctor's degree in theology. I'm registering, and the man says this to me. He says, serious question to ask you. I said, what's that? He said, who can you use that's within your house <laughs> that can push you when you don't feel like doing the work? I said, I said, he said, can your wife push you? I said, she can, but she ain't going to. I said, because, watch this, not a negative thing. I said, because remember, identify pushers and pullers. She's a pusher in so many avenues. But they, watch, watch this, watch this. You cannot expect a pusher to push you when a pusher is in a season of rest. Didn't catch it. Didn't catch that. Because, because I work in different hours than this pusher. This pusher would be resting while I'm supposed to be pushing. So I say to him this. You ready for this? I said, there's a young man who could push me. He works and he, he'll call and push. I said, but sir, can I stop you? He said, sure. I said, I've got to be like David and push myself. So y'all got to catch this now. This is proper posture, and I'm leaving here. Here's proper posture. The only time you look over your shoulder to do anything, you ready for this, is to speak at, watch this, what's chasing you, only for it to catch it, throw it back at you, and push you. Here I go. So if defeat is chasing you, speak back and say, I'm a conqueror. And they're going to throw conqueror back at you, and it's going to push you. So the way that you encourage yourself, you ready for this, is you testify to your past. Oh, my God. I failed long enough. I went down long enough. I've lost enough. I've quit too many times. I have went under too many times. I've been sick long enough. And now I put the comma and put but. God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all I can ask or think. Now watch this. Now when I turn around, defeat has no other choice but to take what I gave it and throw it because the devil cannot hold anything that's holy because it makes him sick. Preach Holy Ghost. So now it must take my words and throw them at me to push me. Tell somebody I'm about to push myself.